To start out, I'm going to be putting in the wet ingredients. So one egg, a quarter teaspoon vanilla, a tablespoon oil, two tablespoons milk, two tablespoons maple syrup, two tablespoons cocoa. and two tablespoons of flour, and a pinch of salt. I'm using gluten-free one-to-one baking flour. If it's still a little thin, you can add more flour to the mixture as needed. Then a fourth a cup of chocolate chips. I am using mini chips, enjoy life chocolate chips. I'll have a link in the description below as to where to find these. Now I'm pouring it in the mug. Put it in the microwave one minute at a time. Now it's done cooking and I've cooked it for two minutes and I'm putting some chocolate chips to melt on the top of it. Okay, it's all done and it looks whew. So, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to eat it. Mm. So the textures on it look really good. It's really pretty. It's rich looking and ooh, looks so good. Tastes good too. Really good. Mm. And it's healthy. Gluten free and healthy. Um, no sugar. Um, no unnatural sugars added. It's very good. Um, Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned every Monday and Friday for a new video. Shout out to Dimitri who said, please can you make cake in a mug, please Jessica. Here you go Dimitri, I hope you like this. This is actually really good and healthy. You can substitute um, the flour with real flour, and you can substitute the maple syrup with real sugar, And but this is a lot healthier, and I've been gluten free for a while, so yeah.